Okay, the next poet I'm going to read up actually was a feature pretty recently. And uh, we really like their poetry. <laughs> Sierra, come on up. Woo! <laughs> Hi. Oh, it is bright. It's not a bad thing, though. <laughs> Thank God, you know. It's the only reason I get up here is for those pictures that you take, so. <laughs> Thank you. You know it. Got to represent. But, um, so this is a new poem that I wrote a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and I hope you all enjoy it, so. I remember asking you if you ever think about how different your life would have been if I didn't survive the car accident. And you said you don't because you're not like me. You don't care about those things. I cried on the way home that night, knowing that my biggest insecurity and you made friends somewhere down the line, I was begging you to keep me on and I can't convince myself much of anything else. I let you tear me down so you could be a pedestal. I starved my body so you would still love me. But even then, you had more to say about it than I could ever lose. I want to say sorry for not being what you wanted, but I have no idea where that blueprint was even kept. I'm hung up on when, I'm hung up on when you used to believe I was magic. I'm stuck feeling like that'll never happen again with anyone. Maybe I don't want it to, because I hope for as long as I live, I never see any shape of you and any stranger I meet. Yeah, that was about breakup, <laughs> for sure. And then I have one more for you. Dress me up as everything you've ever wanted, and then leave me when you realize I'm not, or if you're too scared to find out. And I'll admit, I love the idea of you as well, but I'm the girl you take home, not the one you build one with. When I dance, I spin like my favorite records, and I notice you've been wrapped up in someone else, and part of my appeal is that no one has me. All this time, I thought I was a gym, but in reality, that's everyone else, and as much as I want to shiver, maybe I'm the reason behind the gleam. That's it. Hey, Sierra, don't you have a book for sale? I do have a book for sale. If you want to buy it, that'd be really cool. How, how much is it? It is uh, 25 doll hairs. And 25 doll hairs? I'm That's so reasonable. Not in this economy, but there is. A, <laughs> it is a lot. I promise you're not. It's like 140 <laughs> pages. It's 330. So oh. she thick. But um, all the proceeds are going to GoFundMes for people who are in need. So if you buy it, we're actually like helping people, and I would really appreciate it. So thanks.